Minister Mishevich, you're the incumbent of Serbia's Ministry for European Integration. It's not an easy job for you since uh, Serbia has been on defence, uh, balancing between the West and hoping to join the EU, and on the other side, uh, having close relationships with Russia traditionally. Uh, where does Serbia stand now in this uh, difficult international context with the war in Ukraine, um, with uh, your country being dependent of Russia's energy sources and with Brussels urging you to uh, choose a concrete direction? Well, we chose the concrete direction back in 2000. So for us, uh, there is no direction but the membership to the European Union. So. European integration is our main strategy. Uh, with the war in Ukraine, uh, things have shifted in the direction that the European Union member states and European Union as such introduced the sanctions or the restrictive measures uh, to Russia. That is uh, uh, the major, actually, uh, breaking point in terms of us being uh, uh, um, not against the sanctions but not being able to introduce them. One of the reasons you uh, already stated, and this is the energy dependence, we were not clever enough to diversify in terms of the energy sources and energy routes. The other reason is, of course, the, our own experience with the sanctions. So people in Serbia are not keen to introduce sanctions to anybody as we lived more than 10 years with different type of sanctions. So emotionally, it's very difficult. And the third reason is, of course, the one which is connected with uh, um, our territorial integrity, which means Russia is supporting uh, our standing point regarding the discussion or dialogue with uh, Pristina. Uh, but it, saying that, we are not neutral in terms of the war in Ukraine. We align with the all member states of the European Union condemning the uh, aggression, um, with supporting the territorial integrity of Ukraine too, with um, uh, adopting so many resolutions within the UN, OSCE, Council of Europe, uh, voting together with the EU member states on the, um, expelling from the Committee for Human, and Min Human Rights of, uh, in terms of Russia, uh, and also supporting uh, Ukraine as such. Uh, you mentioned Pristina, and uh, we know that the recent tensions between Belgrade and Pristina ha uh, have made headlines. Uh, Kosovo declared its independence in 2008. Nevertheless, Serbia still doesn't recognize its independence. Minister Mischevic, is Serbia willing to recognize Kosovo's independence, especially since uh, reaching an agreement with Pristina is one of the main preconditions for your country joining the EU? We will never accept the independence there is no person in Serbia who will sign the independence. But we are willing to discuss, to talk with Pristina on how to normalize the life of people. And that was the topic up to now in terms of discussing the relationship between Belgrade and Pristina. That was the topic for the so-called Brussels agreements that has been signed in 2013 which are the same obligation for both Belgrade and Pristina. We did our share of job. That was the integration of both police, uh, then the, um, uh, judiciary, prosecutors into the system there. And we did our job. It was not easy and it was a very long process. Uh, Serbia is ready to discuss but not to discuss about recognizing the independence uh, and not ready to discuss, which is the red line, of course, the membership to the UN. This is a very clear answer and thank you for that. Um, how do you envisage a normalization of, uh, of uh, the relationships between Belgrade and Pristina without signing for Kosovo's independence? 
there are so many things that we can do For uh, together. Um, that was the, the main cause, the reason why the normalization dialogue has started. How to make people traveling free, how to make them schooling, how to make to recognize their diplomas, how to um, um, uh, energy system utilize the best, how to work together in aligning with the EU standards in term to reach the uh, EU market as the region. Uh, and that was the way forward uh, in terms of discussing the, uh, the um, normalization of the process. Another challenge that uh, Serbia is facing is the illegal migration along the so-called uh, Western Balkan route. What do you do to tackle this problem? What are your plans and how are you collaborating with the EU in order to stop this illegal migration? Because there are thousands and thousands of people trying to get into the EU uh, through Serbia. Um, they cross into Croatia, into Slovenia, into Italy lately or into Hungary and so on. So what is your plan to tackle this problem? Oh, we do not plan, we already did a lot. Uh, so uh, it's not only that those illegal migrants or migrants are traveling uh, only and coming only to the EU member states, but they are also uh, coming to my state, to my country. Uh, the first thing that we did was to align our um, uh, visa regime with the EU. So since the creation of the new government, the end of October, uh, we introduced visas for six countries, which are the biggest numbers of the um, illegal mig migrants here. With that, uh, according to the um, press statement by the, for instance, Austrian Minister of uh, Internal Affairs, uh, we helped them to cut down the asylum seekers number seven times in just one month. The other thing is how we fight against organized groups that are smugglers mm. of those mig migrants. We are doing that by, both bilaterally, even cooperating uh, with the German police. We had a very good talks today with the Ministry of Interior here, but also uh, trilaterally with Hungary and with Austria, the first neighbors in that respect. For instance, we are the only one country and the border police on the Balkan route that fingerprints everybody who enter uh, the country. That information goes to the Eurodac, European Schengen system. That also uh, shows or displays the dedication to work together uh, uh, with the European police. The second important thing is the uh, Frontex. They are since 2017, if I'm not wrong, with the first agreement stationed on our borders and with the new agreement that's supposed to enter uh, into negotiation now, they are now going to be on the borders uh, with the non-EU member states. That means that the Frontex people will be on the borders with North Macedonia, Bosnia and Herzegovina to help us uh, fighting the uh, illegal migration. So we do not plan, we do things in terms to support and help this wave of migrants to be stopped mm -hmm. as soon as it possible. Minister Mischewicz, thank you very much. And thank you for your interest.